Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tower reading for my Libras for the week starting April 18, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot.com at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. You can like and share my videos with your family and friends. Thank you for those who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for all your support, your shares, your likes, your private comments, your messages. It really means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my Libras, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. The Chariot. I like this. So it's a major arcana, it's a very powerful energy even in, in this position for you. So here it means that you're going somewhere, you're either planning a trip, and it's an exciting trip I feel, okay? You're either planning a trip, you're either um, relocating, moving, okay? Changing career also, changing jobs, but there's a definitely victorious movement going on in your life okay so here you're going for a better a bigger things and whatever area that is okay so the chair is really like I said it's a triumphant victory over life opposing forces okay so after going through something that was uh, you know challenging yes now you're back and stronger than ever and like I said whenever we see horses it's always about movement Okay, so here it's not just you going there, it's you really bringing things with you. You're being in a better position. Okay, so, you know, as a first card in a reading, it's very positive, and I think there's a lot of movement going on for you at this time. Okay, I know that the sun is in your seventh house still, it's in, an, it's in Aries, and so there's 180 degrees away from you. And Aries so there's a lot of people you could be in demand right now okay you could be just opening uh, yourself up to going to see people that you haven't seen or just you know going out but there's definitely an energy of um, excitement for you this week and let's see what we have in the position of the near past for you my Libras the nine of Pentacles Yes, I'm sure you like this card because she's about enjoying the finest things of life, okay? And, you know, there's a lot of things happening in that direction as well. We have Mercury in Tauruses, okay? So it's in your 8th house. So starting from yourself, Taurus is the 8th sign. So 8th house is about death. It's about rebirth. Okay, but it's also about money, finances, other people, money, okay, power. So I feel that for you, my Libras, having the nine of pentacles here could be that, you know, you are very happy with your financial success. You, you seem to have accomplished a certain things in terms of, of success that is actually bringing you what you want. And now you're in a good position. Okay, you should be feeling good about yourself and also on a certain level, pentacles are about health. Not just health in terms of finances, yes of course, but health in terms of how you care for yourself. So maybe now you're, you know, you're shopping more, you're renewing your wardrobe or you're doing some type of changes that makes you feel good. And, you know, whenever things are going well in terms of material, you have to do something for us. That's how we, you know, we show the universe our appreciation is by using this, you know, prosperity and, you know, enjoying it. So it shows that you may be doing this this, this week or maybe you're still doing that from last week because it's in a, it's in a near past position, but it's a great energy. And so let's see what we have in a position of the future for you this week. King of Rods, looking forward. Okay. 
I love him because he's definitely someone that could, um, for my single Libras, who could definitely show you a different side of life. Okay. Yes, King of Rods is a fiery energy, but I'm not going to go into the signs. I think you know the signs, but because it may not be a fire sign, it could just be in terms of his ambition. Ambition. It could be you as well. It could be, you know, men or women, you are very determined in terms of your career, in terms of a goal that you have set for yourself. And as a king, you know, and this one is always looking in that direction. There's some king that are looking, you know, you at, uh, or they're looking, you know, face to face. Or, but the king of rod is really about going into a direction. Okay, so that direction could be love. Maybe you are about to, you're making some type of changes. You're preparing yourself to go and involve yourself in a new relationship. Okay. Or it could be that, you know, in terms of work and career, you're expanding your your success. Maybe there's a new opportunity that you're after. But it's a great, great energy because, like I said, whenever we have the king of rod, it really is about you know, control, okay, is when you have possession of all the skills in order to reach, um, you know, reach whatever you're looking at, because we don't know, like I said, this rod, this king of rod, he could be pointing, or he could be going for love, he could be going for career, he could be going for money, he could be going for endeavor, but there's something here, and we know that you're moving, okay, so this is a general reading, like I said, for some of my singles, uh, Libras, you could be going for love, okay, or love is coming at you, maybe there's someone around you that is coming, but we know there's a movement coming from you here, so maybe it's time for you to walk in that direction, if ever there's someone in your eyes, I suggest that you, you know, that you investigate, you go a little bit further, and so let's see what we have in a position of the outcome for you this week, wow, Six of Rods. Lots of victory for you this week. It's going to be an amazing week for you. I mean, there's something that you're after and you're going to go get it because we have the chariot on horses going forward and now we have the Six of Rods being victorious knowing that the King of Rod is going at something. It shows that you'll be, you'll be able to reach that goal, whatever it is, in different areas of life. Okay, know that at this moment, my Libras, you are being protected and I feel that you're being guided. Okay, it hasn't been easy, maybe for March, February, there's a turn of event. Okay, you're stronger now that you have been before. So if there's something that you wish to do, I say you go ahead and do it. It shows that you will be successful. So if there's someone that has, you know, you know, that had your interest or someone or something that you're interested in, interested in, jump in that horse and go and go in that direction. OK, because success is all over the cards for you this week, all over. OK, and you have a good standing. You look good right now. People are looking at you uh, favorably. Okay, the new moon in Aries illuminated you, okay, because it, it put the shine on you, which is what Aries is looking at. So use this time and make things happen, okay? I trust that you will. I'm going to end this reading here for you, my beautiful Libras. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comment. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.